And welcome to the Scotiabank Pond. It's Bill Canadis, Joseph Monticchio, and Peter Curtis. We're here to talk about the matchup between the Don Mills Flyers and the Toronto Marlies. Minor midget AAA action. And Pete, the Toronto Marlies, this is a team one point back of fourth right now in the standings. And they're starting to climb. And we know they do it with a very potent offense that they get not just from their talented forwards, but the guys on the back end scoring at a clip of 3.7 goals per game. Best in this loop. Oh, leading the GTHL loop because of how mobile and how great their defense is at getting them the puck. Let's check out our game story as the Marlies were looking to take down an opponent who's had a bit of a struggle this year, have the Flyers, but it didn't take long in the second period. On the power play, Hayno gets the pass across to Clark. Boom, one-timer, one-nothing Marlies. Beautiful play, giving a tic-tac-toe to the top. This is a great, and this is an unfortunate one. Takes a weird bounce, looking like a knuckle puck. Just dip, 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 sorry, dips on him there. Drops below his glove, two-nothing for the Marlies. Daniel D'Amico, he cuts through the middle, makes it look easy, takes some time, finds the right spot. At right at this point, you're wondering if the Flyers have anything left. Then a little bit of bad luck at the end of the second. Everyone gets caught in no man's land. D'Amico gets his second of the game. And then just an open man in front of the net. Found him with wide open, no defenseman even close to him. Just turns around and does the easy work. Puts it into the back of the net. Four, nothing Marlies. That was Beaupre. And then this would be the finisher, Zabini, our spotlight guy. He was flying all game long, puts it home. Carvalho gets the shutout, and the Toronto Marlies get a 6 nothing victory. Thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you soon with more GTHL highlights.